you go, Phil. Thanks. Oh, Lou, do me a favour. Go and check Dennis sleeping. I caught him on a game again last night. Was it the big grin? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Phil, what's wrong? At the hospital visit was positive. Something to cling on to, at least. Is it the baby? I saw how you were with Denise. I, I told you. It's done and dusted. I'm fine. Then why won't you say a few words at the funeral? I know Ben offered, but Jack asked you. Is it because of what happened at Peggy's funeral? Yeah. Well, then I'm lost. I know how much Ronnie and Rox looked up to so you. Just, just get off my case, will you? You're going to let him talk to you like that? Just stay out of it, Michelle. You pack your bags if you don't like it. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm off to bed. Let's hope you're in a better mood in the morning. Shouldn't we at least try to get on? For Sharon's sake. The sooner you leave, the better. One sugar in mine. Not too weak. I get out of the way. I know you've been to Helen back. You know what? I don't need pity. At least of all yours. Can't we let the past go? What are you even doing here, anyway? I mean, Wolford ain't your home anymore, is it? Maybe I realised how much I miss my family and friends. Life's short. You know that, Phil. Except you've always been out for yourself, haven't you? Which is why you did a runner all them years ago, and why you never told Grant about Mark. You'll never let it go, will you? Think I don't feel scared? Knowing how much he'd hate me if you found out I'd lied. Still terrifies me what he'd do if he did, so no, actually. I ain't out for myself, but I wouldn't expect you to understand that, being selfish. Why don't you just shut your mouth, eh? You won't even say a few words at the funeral. Could you be any more uncaring? You've got no idea what you're talking about. And the way you shot down Sharon earlier, it's pathetic. But why are we even stood here, eh? What, what do you know about anything? I know what it's like to have regrets. Let people down. The funeral will come and go. What if you regret it afterwards? <sighs> come on, if Ben can step up. Sharon mentioned that you wanted to be your donor last year. How can your son be so selfless and yet you... I told you to shut your mouth, all right? Now, you just, you just don't understand. Now, this liver was meant for Tony, a good man, OK? Now, I, I've done nothing but bad things all my life. But I'm still here. Now you tell me why am I still here and he ain't, eh? Now I'm the last person that should be up there speaking. Ronnie and Rox deserve something better. You know that ain't true. And don't go shooting your mouth off to Sharon about this either. Phil, sit down. What's going about it? I said sit. I won't let it go till you do. Feeling guilty won't bring anyone back. You owe it to Ronnie, Roxy and Tony to make the most of this new life you've been given. You have to tell Sharon how you're feeling. I know that woman better than myself. She's worried sick. Yeah, which is why I'm putting it on her. She's been through enough already, isn't she? She probably thinks you're acting like this because of the baby. What if she thinks you regret letting it go after she's forgiven you and everything? I've already told her that. Well, you have to show her as well. If you won't talk, sort yourself out. She deserves better than you moping and feeling sorry for yourself. Lousy cuppa, by the way. What are you still doing up? We're just putting the world to rights, won't we, Phil? Yeah. I... I think you're right about the funeral. I should say a few words. I'll speak to Jack first thing. What made you change your mind? Night. Good night, darling. Things will be different after the funeral. Oh, 
to start the plan ahead, me, you and the family. Oh, it's out at this hour. It's wrong number. I'm going to finish this and I'll be up. I'll see you. 